What's up YouTubers, it's time for another Yu-Gi-Oh vid But today guys, it's an extra special vid We've hit 100 subscribers Oh my god, <laughs> I can't believe it We've hit triple digits baby That is so awesome I did not expect a 100 this soon It only felt like last week But we've only done a 75 special vid and now to hit a hundred, oh, I, I just feel so loved. It's thanks to you guys I'm hitting this mark. Thank you so, so much. Really. I'll, keep, I'll keep trying to do my best on YouTube. Please spread the word that I'm making my name out there. Oh, just thank you so much, guys. It means the world to me. So, of course, guys, we have to do something special. We have to do something amazing for a hundred subscribers special. And of course, guys, there was only one thing I could think of to make this 100 subscriber special even more special. We are opening the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Deck 2. That's right, guys, we're going to be having a look at the modern day version of Kaiba, Yu-Gi's, and even Joey's deck. That's right guys, if the anime of the original season was still going on that to this day, we'll be seeing their version of the decks now. So without further ado guys, why don't we get straight into looking at this amazing box. Alright guys, before we open this up and see the cards, I just gotta say, we gotta have a look at the box. The box just looks so amazing. We've got Kaiba, Joey. And Yugi, golden eyes on the box. And the background's got, we got the old fashioned ancient Egyptian writing on the background again. Oh, feels like forever since we've had that. On the sides, we've got the, I believe it's pronounced Eye of Wujon. That's right, yeah. Oh, it's been forever since we had that on any of the packaging. Looks so awesome. And of course at the back guys, swing that around, we've got some amazing artwork, we've got Yugi with Exodia again, oh I still can't believe like the first episode Yugi pulled out Exodia, so awesome, and of course we've got sneak peeks of the deck, we've got some Exodia cards there, we've got Kaiba and his blue eyes, we've got Joey and his red eyes, we get the three Egyptian guards, we get three cards that's only available in this box and of course the writing we all can't believe we're reading Exodia Blue Eyes and Red Eyes rebuilt for the modern dueling age oh guys this is, a, this is just amazing so enough waiting around let's open it up and see what we get oh there we go, we got the Konami seal of approval off. Oh, I can't believe we've got here guys. We're finally at a hundred. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think it's even more golden now we've got the seal of approval off. Anyway, let's open it up. Ooh, it's even more detailing inside the box. Oh, let's quickly put that there. Put that to the side. We've got some more ancient Egyptian writing. I'm sorry if you can't see it, guys, but yeah, we've got some more ancient Egyptian writing. Let's just quickly see that. Spin that around. Oh, that deck's flying out. <laughs> there we go. We've got some of the new cards we get. Here's Joey's deck. Here's Yugi's. There's Kaiba's. Let's put the box back together, guys. There we go. Swing that right there. Alright, there we go. I think we'll, um, for the video, we'll start with Joey's, then go to Kaiba's and Yugi's. Let's put that in order. Put that over there. And let's start off with the promos. Oh, this is getting exciting. Put that around, and we've got the Dark Burning Attack. Oh, ha ha. The card made for Dark Magician Girl. And then we have the Dark Burning Magic. 
If you control Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, destroy all cards your opponent controls. And lastly, the Eternal Soul. Oh, I just love how they made the tablet for the Dark Magician for this card. It might not be easy to see because of the camera, but yeah, that's what it is. Oh, this card just looks so awesome. Anyway, those are the three sneak peek cards we got. So awesome. Let's put these over here now, guys. Let's put them in the back. As we'll get straight into Joey's deck. I'll just remind you guys that this is the modern day version of Joey's deck. So basically, I'll just say again, if the anime, the original anime of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series was going on now, this is the deck that Joey would be running. There we go, we got the seal off. Uh, it's stuck again, there we go. There's so much power in Joey's deck, it just doesn't just want the seal to come off. Even now I'm holding it, I can just feel it. I can just feel the power of Joey's deck. Start off with the Black Stone of Legend. Oh, just so awesome. I remember when the card first came out, it was so rare. Return of the Red Eyes. Oh, oh, oh. And we got his, and Joey now runs an Xyz monster of all things. The Red Eyes. Flame Metal Dragon. Oh, now Joey can match up against Kaiba with this Xyz monster. And of course, his iconic Red Eyes Black Dragon. You can't have a Joey deck without Red Eyes. Anyway. The, he now also runs the new Gemini, Red Eyes, Black Flame Dragon. Oh, I'm just loving it so much. He's also got the Red Eyes, Arch Fiend of Lightning. Oh, just so awesome. I'm just loving the. I'm just loving his new Red Eyes deck. It's so awesome. We've got Red Eyes Retro Dragon. Oh, I'm just getting more in love with his new Red Eyes deck. It's just getting so awesome. I wish we had an anime where he d uses this deck. The Black Metal Dragon. And then we get to his other iconic cards such as the Axe Raider. The Alligator Sword. The Baby Dragon. Oh, I just love this card. We got Jinzo. Oh, oh, oh Jinzo. I still remember when I first got Jinzo, it was so awesome. We got the Goblin Attack Force. We got Gear 3 the Iron Knight. We got the Rocket Warrior. The Blue Flame Swordsman. Time Wizard. Oh. Put in the comment in the comment section below if you just love Time Wizard. He also now runs the Phoenix Gear Freed. I don't blame him, he loves Gear Freed. After all, he runs Gear 3, the Swordmaster. Gemini Summoner. I'm not surprised he would run a card like this, considering now he's got, like, two iconic Gemini cards. Blaze Wing, Blaze Wing Butterfly. Oh, he runs more Geminis. I guess Joey decided to switch from Gamble to Geminis. Not surprised. Anyway, we've got the Dark Valkyria. We've got the Common Knight. Oh my god, the Valkyrie Knight. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> the Keeper of the Shrine. No surprise, he has to have an edge with his red eyes. Speaking of which, Inferno Fire Blast. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's so awesome. Red Eyes Fusion. Wow. Wow, Joey's really stepped up his game now with that. Cards of the Red Stone. Oh, ho, ho. And of course, the iconic polymerization. Salamandra. Oh, ha, ha. oh, I just love this card so much. Scapegoat. No surprise there. So we always use Scapegoat. Foolish Burial. Oh, he stepped over the game even more with Foolish. Ooh, Roulette Spider. I've always wanted this card since the anime. Oh, now I can use it. Oh, it's just so awesome. Super Fies. Yikes. So awesome. You've got a quick card for Gemini's now. Mystical Space Siphon. Classic. Symbols of Duty. Whoa. 
Pretty awesome, actually. And finally, the track card, guys. We got the Red Eye Spirit. The classic Kunai with Chain. Call of the Haunted. Torrential Tribute. I wouldn't think Joey would have run this, really, but. Eh. Oh well. Burst Breath. Curse of Anubis. You've always run this card in Hall Marger for the Pharaoh. Keep him alive in the deck. And we've got his fusions. He's got the new Arch Fiend Black Skull Dragon instead of running the regular Black Skull Dragon. No surprise, really. I really think um, this is better than Black Skull Dragon. We got the Alligator Sword Dragon. And finally, the rare Joey Token. So awesome. Anyway, let's put this deck that together. So we can have them all lined up later. Let's put this over here. So it's in a safe place. And get straight into Kyber's deck. Oh, I think we already had a sneak peek technically of what could be in this deck. Because um, during the last Worldwide Yu Gi Oh tournament, they did um, have a Kyber vs. Yu Gi duel. And Kyber did use uh, new Synchro with some new tuners and new. Other new blue eyes related cards. Swing that round and let's get straight into it with Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Or oh. the Melody of Awakening Dragons. I wouldn't be surprised Kaiba uses I'm pretty sure he uses this just so he can add Blue Eyes White Dragon to his hand. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, guys. I'm glad they put Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon in. If they did Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon into this deck, that would have gone way too far. It's a, after all, this deck is in homage for the classic Kaiba from the anime, manga, and everything else, really. If they put Neo in, that would have gone way too far. They had to add Ultimate. Anyway, we've got Blue Eyes White Dragon. So awesome. I just love the card so much. And we got a second Blue Eyes! Oh, do we get a third? Sneak peek again? Yes! Three different artworks of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh, I would have been more happy if they stuck to the original artwork for all three, but... I guess uh, they want to make the fans happy by having three different artworks. Makes sense, really, if they did that. That would have been so awesome. Anyway, they also got the new Dragon Spirit of White. So awesome. I'm not surprised really, this does help with Blue Eyes a lot. And Kyber's altered ego, alter ego, Kyber Man. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't blame him for putting this card in. Anyway, we've got the White Stone of Legend, the White Stone of Ancients, Protector of the Eyes of Blue, Master with the Eyes of Blue. And that's it for all the blue cards, <laughs> ironically. Anyway. We got his classic Battle Ox, his classic Lajin, classic Force Raider. Did Kaiba use Alexandroid Dragon? I know he did that in the um, tournament tournament one, but I didn't think they were put in this deck. They probably did just because he used it then. Anyway, now for the effect monsters: Blade Knight, Ancient Lamp. Wait, yeah, Ancient Lamp. <laughs> I couldn't read them, guys. Tiger Dragon. I wouldn't really think that you would use Tiger Dragon. Shockingly, I thought they were putting Luster Dragon at least. Anyway, Kidmodo Dragon. King of the Swamp. Rider of the Storm Winds. Oh, ho, ho. now we get to the spell cards. The Burst Stream of Destruction. You know, when they made this card, I would have thought they made it White Lightning. Considering that's what they call to do Blue Eyes' attack. Not those, but then again, they do call that, that for um, the manga, so I guess they didn't know how much for the manga. We got Beacon of the White, Museum of the White, Classic Polymerization, Enemy Controller, another classic, Shrink. Oh, I just loved it when Kyber did this user's card. This was so awesome. Got Silent Doom. 
ancient rules. Trading? I really wouldn't think I would sacrifice a blue eyes just to draw two cards. I really wouldn't think he did that. Where art thou? Politis Mercy. Oh my god, I butchered the name, didn't I? I'm so sorry, guys. Fusion Substitution. Unless they had another. Unless Kaiba used another fusion card. I really don't know if this would have been possible to use, really, since he already has Polly. Unexplained Die. And now we go to the traps, such as his classic Negate Attack. Or. Final Attack Orders. Shadow Spell, another good classic. Cloning. I only recall Kaiba using this card once. I don't know if he did it, if he did do it again. Let me know if I'm wrong. Fusion Reversal. Yikes. I know I butchered that name a bit. Jar of Avarice. I would thought Kaiba would use Pot of Avarice, but then again, that's banned, so yeah, Jar of Avarice. Oh! We got his new synchro, Azerite Silver Dragon. And of course guys, if you got the Kyber Mega Tin, like the one I did on my channel a while back, you can add in the Blue Eyes Silver Dragon and make the deck even more powerful. And lastly, the first of the dragons. No surprise they'll add in this card, it's a pretty good card if you're using normal monsters. And of course guys, just like with Joey. We have the token card. Oh, this just looks so awesome. I'm loving it so much. Anyway, guys, that's it for Kyber's deck. Let's swap it around with Yugi's as we get to the final deck. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, it's getting so awesome. Oh, my God. Yugi's is so strong. We can't break the seal. Yugi, please bless us. There we go. He blessed us. Alright, guys. Let's get to the final deck. My hands are literally shaking. Because we're starting off with Slifer. Arbalesk. And Raw. We've got the three Egyptian God cards. So awesome. Oh, they need a pile for themselves, really. Let's put them over here. Along with the sneak extra cards that we got. So we start off with the legendary Exodia Incarnate. Oh, I'm really happy they made a new Exodia card. Oh, it just looks so awesome. I can't wait to use it myself. I probably will in the future as well. Anyway, we've got Ties of the Brethren. Oh, so awesome. We've got Obliterate! Sorry guys, I was just trying to copy how Yugi did in the anime. Let's face it, I'm pretty sure if any one of us would have activated this card, they would have tried to mimic Yugi. It's just <laughs> awesome. And of course guys, we have all five pieces of Exodia. The forbidden one. We got both the arms. We got both the legs and the head. Awesome. We have Exodia Necros. Even though it's only been used by Gozoboro Kaiba, I'm glad actually they added this card for, into Yugi's deck because I'm pretty sure if Yugi knew this existed, he would definitely have put it in along with Exodia pieces. Swing that to the back as we start off now with the Dark Magician. So awesome. I just love the classic artwork. It's just so fitting. Anyway, let's stop drooling over it as we get to the hottie of all hotties. The Dark Magician Girl. Oh, she's so cute. I just love the Dark Magician Girl. She's just so amazing. Anyway, we got Buster Blader, the Silent Magician, level 8, Silent Magician, level 4, the Tricky, Big Shield Garnet, oh what a classic, I just love the classics, Magician's Valkyria, 
last magician. I guess Yugi wanted to add more magicians to the deck. Block man. Oh, I just love this card just because it's Lego. <laughs> anyway. Marshmallow. Oh, another cute card. Just love it. Sangan A. Isn't he banned? I think he's banned. Is he still banned? Not quite sure. Golden Sarcophagus. Oh, the card Yugi used to beat the Pharaoh. So awesome. Swords of Rivulin Light. Another classic. Magical Dimension. Another classic. Magicians Unite. Didn't this end up with a quick play card in the anime? I think it did. Close to the final battle between Yugi and the Pharaoh. Tricky Spell 4. Thousand Knives. Dark Magic Attack. Contract with Exodia. Oh ho ho, now we can use Necros. So awesome. Message of Peace. Wow. Surprisingly, I did not expect that from Yugi. Wow. Dark Battery of Mass Production. That's probably to help out the Exodia pieces. Monster Reincarnation. Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Oh ho ho. Yugi's really powering up his spellcasters. Pot of Duality. And now for the traps. Starting off with good old Mirror Force. You can't have a Yugi deck without Mirror Force, let's face it. He always uses it. Magical Hats. Another classic. Magic Cylinder. Another classic. Magician's Circle. More spellcaster cards. Backup Soldier. Help out with Exodia. Gravity Bind. Wow. Unless Yuki has Exceed Monsters, which he does actually have, I'm pretty sure it does. But sadly, we don't get in this box. We end it with the token card. Oh, that's it, guys. We've opened up all three decks, and all three were just awesome to the core. We've got Exo. We've got a new Exodia deck. We've got a new blue eyes deck. And we've got a new red eyes deck. So awesome. I just love these new cards. They're so awesome. And I'm glad they made this really. This is this is just worth getting really guys. If I was you, I'll go to your nearest shop, get it, for either just having new Exodia cards, new blue eyes cards, or new red eyes cards. If you're interested in all three, just get it for just the more reason. Or if you're a fan of the classic anime get it for this reason anyway guys um that's it for me thank you again for a hundred subscribers it means the world to me i'm gonna go i'm just gonna gaze at all of these for a while probably stare at the new egyptian gods probably um drool over the dark magician girl again <laughs> anyway guys um that's it for me and this is me signing off